So we're here today at the fourth European Financial Forum in Dublin. We're delighted to have Mike Corbett, CEO of Citigroup, here with us. Uh, one of the big things we're talking about a decade on from the financial crisis and the big picture for the conference really is a decade on, are we safer, are we better, have the problems been fixed or are there still risks? So maybe you could give us your kind of brief impressions of that. Well, I think we're definitely safer and better. You know, when you think about and, and, and come back at your question in two ways, one, when you think of capital, liquidity, risk, risk metrics, concentration risk, all of those things. Uh, I think have been meaningfully dealt with. And I think the second important piece is more from the strategic side, that business models have evolved. 10 years ago, everyone was out with the financial supermarket trying to be everything to everyone. Yeah. Today, you look at strategies, and strategies are much more bespoke on an individual company basis, which means we don't have that concentration risk amongst the, the, the things that people are doing. And I think that makes the system much safer. So it's much safer, but there are some new risks and some that we could never have envisaged 10 years ago. Who would have thought we would be talking about like Brexit and we are 45 days out, there's a, or we're less than 45 days out, there's a lot of uncertainty out there. How do you deal with that? Well, again, we, we've, um, and when we say we, I'm going to speak not just to city, but the industry, we've had to prepare for the worst, right? You hope for the best and you plan for the worst. And I think everybody, certainly in our case, we've had to plan for the worst, and that is the so-called hard exit. Right, that there is no uh, pathway to, uh, to any smooth transition and we've got to be prepared on day one to be there to support our clients. And so um, we've made that investment of time, effort, energy, resources, business structure to make sure we're there. And I think as you look at some of these things going on, it's forced, forced us as a company and I think forced the industry to some of the extremes to be preparing around sanctions, to be preparing around um, trade fallout of different negotiations going on in the world. And as you've described, it's now become a reality. Yeah, because when you think about the Europe continent going forward, I mean, how does this affect your appetite to invest in Europe? Well, one is we've been in Europe a long time. As an example, we're in Ireland today. We've been here 54 years. So these aren't places that we've come to overnight. Uh, and again, we're supporting not just the local champions or the national champions. We're supporting the global champions that operate there. And we can make different arguments around trade and balkanization, but trade's not going away. Trade routes may realign, but our customers and clients count on us to be there to make sure that they can be in business. And we think about, I mean, your home market isn't exactly a risk-free market either. We think about uncertainty around things like the shutdown, which may or may not resume at some point. You have all the stuff around trade. How big are the risks to you in the U.S.? Well, um, I think the U.S. is fortunate today because we're, we're, we have the backbone of a fairly strong economy. If you look at uh, in 2018, right at 3% growth, and you look around the world from a developed markets perspective, it's kind of at or near the top of its league. Um, people are predicting, and we are seeing little bits of signs of slowdown, but we don't see in the U.S. any type of precipitous fall off or any near to intermediate term threat of recession. And so, you know, we still there, uh, view there to be very good opportunity. And I think our clients remain excited, not just our U.S. clients, but our global clients remain excited about being in the U.S. Because Citi is one of the biggest banks in the U.S. and one of the most global banks as well. I mean, coming from a bank your size, where are there opportunities to, to do more than you already do? Or are you effectively topped out? No, we're not topped out. We've got, we think we've got a fair, a fair bit of runway. And what we've talked about and what we've laid out to our investors is a path around organic growth. Uh, and that growth, when you look at businesses like our treasury and trade solutions business, our security services business, our private bank, our lending, if you look at what we've done in equities or if you look at what we've done in M&A, you know, we continue to have good runway in those businesses and you know, pretty high growth rates. So you still don't want to buy Deutsche Bank? No. Again, we've talked about we're really comfortable with our, with our organic strategy. Mike Corbett of Citigroup, thank you very much.